Airlines around the world once grounded this jet for nearly two years, now it's flying millions of passengers again every day. But inside the cockpit are systems most travellers don't even know exist. The Boeing 737 MAX might be far more advanced than people think. The biggest technical step change on the MAX is the CFM International Leap 1B engine. The engine features an 18-blade composite fan measuring approximately 69.4 inches with a higher bypass ratio of approximately 9 to 1 and an overall pressure ratio around 41 to 1. CFM and Boeing report these improvements give roughly 15% better specific fuel consumption over the older CFM 56 and allow Boeing to advertise up to 14% lower fuel burn versus a Bride 1 2A 730-7800NG. Thrust ratings vary by engine option with industry published ratings commonly around 28,000 pounds force with some specifications showing approximately 29,300 pounds force. For the particular ratings, the Lee 1B engine achieves measurable performance gains compared to the CFM 56. CFM and Boeing report approximately 15 to 20 percent lower carbon dioxide emissions and major nitrogen oxide reductions. The noise footprint is 40 percent smaller than previous generation engines. Aircraft Commerce published operational data comparing the 737-8 to the 737-800W on the Boston to Toronto route. The 737-8 consumed 989 US gallons of fuel versus 1,162 gallons for the 737-800W with the same 150-seat configuration and payload. On longer routes like Boston to Phoenix, the 737-8 burned 4,183 gallons compared to 4,792 gallons for the 737-800W. To fit the larger engine, the MAX needed structural changes. Boeing installed an approximately 8-inch taller nose gear strut with reinforced structure and heavier nacelles. Each Leap 1B engine weighs 849 pounds more than the CFM 56. The engine nacelles are mounted higher on the wing and further forward to maintain ground clearance, and these modifications preserve the same 17-inch ground clearance as previous 737 models. Boeing reinforced the main landing gear and supporting structure while fuselage skins are thicker in some locations. These changes increased empty weight by roughly 6,500 pounds on the MAX 8. Boeing increased maximum takeoff weight by about 7,000 pounds to preserve range and payload. The 737 MAX features split-tip winglets designed to reduce vortex drag. Boeing states these advanced technology winglets reduce fuel use and carbon dioxide emissions by up to 2%. The winglets have a total height of 9 feet 6 inches and the design combines elements of blended winglets with wingtip fences and raked wingtips. According to Boeing's projections, a MAX 8 with 162 passengers on a 3,000 nautical mile flight has 1.8% lower fuel burn than a blended winglet equipped aircraft. Additional aerodynamic improvements include a recontoured tail cone with revised auxiliary power unit inlet and exhaust and aft body vortex generator removal. The relofted tail cone contributes approximately 1% fuel savings, while the new streamlined aft body design increases aerodynamic efficiency and reduces drag. Boeing integrated the nacelle with the wing, inspired by 787 aerodynamic advances, and the nacelle includes chevrons similar to those on the 787, which reduce engine noise. Together with split-tip winglets and the relofted tail cone and the cell refinements, these changes produce the modest but meaningful aerodynamic and acoustic gains. Boeing and CFM advertise. The flight deck features four liquid crystal displays measuring 15.1 inches diagonally. Rockwell Collins supplied the displays which are the same size as those used on the 787 Dreamliner and 777X. These displays replace smaller screens from earlier 737 generations and the larger screens improve pilot situational awareness and efficiency. Boeing designed the 737 MAX to maintain commonality with the 737 next generation, requiring only differences, training for certified pilots. The larger leap engines mounted further forward and higher created a nose-up pitch tendency in certain flight conditions.
Boeing developed the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System to automatically adjust the horizontal stabilizer and mimic NG flight behavior. Following the Lion Air Flight 610 crash in October 2018 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crash in March 2000, 19 investigators determined MCAS activated based on false data from a single angle of attack sensor in both accidents. The system deflected the stabilizer four times farther than stated in initial safety analysis. Regulators required software and training changes after the accidents. MCAS was reworked with angle of attack disagree protections added along with altered activation logic and limits on authority. The FAA issued an airworthiness directive requiring four design changes. Boeing installed new flight control software requiring agreement between both angle of attack sensors before MCAS activates and the system now provides only one input per event. Boeing updated cockpit displays and incorporated new operating procedures while the company changed horizontal stabilizer trim wire routing to comply with FAA safety standards. All changes are documented in the FAA review prior to return to service. Since November 2020 recertification, Boeing has produced over 1,500 MAX aircraft with approximately 7,000 total orders from more than 100 customers worldwide. December 2025 marks a dramatic shift in the global aircraft manufacturing landscape. Boeing has announced aggressive delivery forecasts for 2026, targeting a sharp increase in production. At the same time, Airbus confronts a serious fuselage panel defect across hundreds of A320 family aircraft. The defect has forced delivery delays and triggered widespread inspections throughout the company's production system. This timing creates a window Boeing hasn't seen in years. Boeing's production outlook centers on two aircraft models. The 737 MAX program that was grounded after two fatal crashes in 2018 and 2019 has steadily rebuilt customer trust. The company projects higher delivery volumes for the 737 MAX in 2026 as production rates stabilize. The 787 Dreamliner faces similar momentum. Boeing forecasts increased. 787 deliveries next year driven by pent-up demand from airlines waiting to expand long-haul fleets. Both programs benefit from Boeing's cleared backlog and regulatory approvals that were delayed for years. Airbus now battles an unexpected crisis. Reuters reported on December 3, 2025 that Airbus is preparing inspections of A320 family jets after discovering a fuselage flaw affecting deliveries. The defect involves improperly drilled holes in certain fuselage panels. Hundreds of aircraft in production and already delivered may require corrective work. According to the Economic Times, the flaw has disrupted Airbus's delivery schedule and raised concerns among airlines dependent on A320neo jets for fleet expansion. The defect originated from a supplier issue, but Airbus must now inspect aircraft across multiple production sites. Company-wide inspections have begun and Airbus has acknowledged that some deliveries will be delayed while engineers assess the extent of the problem. Airlines expect the A320 family to serve as the backbone of short and medium haul routes. Any prolonged delay threatens their operational plans and revenue forecasts. Boeing 737 MAX directly competes with the A320neo family. The MAX faced its own extended grounding and production halts, costing Boeing billions and damaging its reputation. However, the aircraft returned to service in late 2020 after rigorous testing and certification updates. Airlines have since resumed orders and Boeing has worked through much of its MAX backlog. The company's 2026 forecast reflects confidence that production can scale without the quality issues that plagued earlier years. The 787 Dreamliner represents Boeing's long-haul advantage. Production paused in 2021 due to manufacturing defects, but deliveries resumed in 2022 after Federal Aviation Administration approval. Boeing has streamlined its 787 assembly process and demand remains strong from carriers expanding international routes post-pandemic. The 2026 delivery increase signals Boeing's belief that it can meet customer timelines while maintaining build quality. Airbus has dominated commercial aircraft deliveries in recent years. The company delivered 735 aircraft in 2023, compared to Boeing's 528. 
Airbus's production consistency gave it a market edge, particularly as Boeing navigated regulatory scrutiny and supply chain disruptions. The fuselage panel defect now threatens that advantage. If inspections extend delivery timelines by several months, airlines may reconsider orders or shift to Boeing to avoid fleet shortages. Boeing's strategy for 2026 hinges on execution. The company must deliver aircraft on schedule without repeating past quality failures. Any new defect or delay would erase the opportunity created by Airbus's current troubles. Boeing has stated its commitment to meeting production targets, but the aerospace industry remains unforgiving of mistakes. The commercial aircraft market operates on multi-year lead times, airlines place orders years in advance, and manufacturers compete for every contract. Boeing's 2026 forecast positions the company to capture orders from airlines frustrated by Airbus delays. If Boeing delivers on its promises, it could regain market share lost during its max grounding and 787 production pause. Airbus has not disclosed a timeline for resolving the fuselage panel issue. The company continues inspections and works with suppliers to prevent recurrence. Until Airbus confirms a fix and resumes full-rate production, Boeing holds a temporary advantage in delivery reliability. The next 12 months will determine whether Boeing capitalizes on this moment or whether Airbus resolves its defect faster than expected. The balance of power in commercial aviation may shift significantly by the end of 2026.